Hi, my name is Adam Cortell, and I've been building a sauna for the last year or so, and I want to show you how I made this bench. First, let me give you a quick little tour. Well, let's take a quick look at my sauna. I've been working on it off and on for over a year. It's coming along pretty nicely. I still have a lot of finish work to do on it. It's got some big posts and beams. Those are all cedar. It's got two windows in the front and one in the door. I'm going to have a little patio around here in the front. I have some uh, flagstones I'm going to put in. On the inside, I've uh, put in a slate floor. And then I made these benches. They're all cedar with two inch slats. Um, they're resting on these two by four rails. And these benches are movable, so I could remove them for cleaning or any rearranging. And then inside we have a couple more windows, a couple tall narrow ones on the side. I have a vent over here. And here's another window. And down here is the heater. I still have to make uh, a guard around that. Well, why don't we go ahead and uh, take a look at step by step how I made these benches. First thing I did for the sauna bench was I cut up 44 16 inch long 2 by 2s these will be used for the bats along the bench. The next thing I did was cut two cedar 2x4s. Both of these 2x4s are pretty clean. They don't really have any knots. And I cut them to 88 inches because that's how long I want the total length of my sauna bench to be. In my next step, I cut two end pieces for the bench. They're both, again, cedar 2x4s, and so on either end now, I have them capped off. I did cut those exactly the same length as my 2x2 slats that I'll be using that will end up going between here. Now I'm marking each corner. I marked it about an inch in, and now I'm marking about 7 eighths of an inch down. And this is where I'll drill the holes and then put the screws in to uh, form the frame here. Now I'm using my marks and I'm using a half inch spade bit here and I'm just going to drill in a little bit. This way if I want to put some caps in here to cover up the screws I can do that later. So just using my marks I already made. I'm trying to go in about about a quarter inch on each one of these. I'm using my trusty, rusty uh, square here to make sure that I'm square. And then I'll be using 3-inch exterior Torx uh, screws. I'm putting them in at a little bit of an angle. I usually do that because if I had them out here on the edge, I'm more likely to split this. So I come in a little bit and then angle this way just a little bit like that. So what I usually do is I check for square one more time, get my boards lined up. I usually pin one down with my knee so it doesn't go anywhere. Doing this on the concrete slab in my garage. And then at a little bit of an angle. Go ahead and in this next step, I have cut some 2 by 2s that fit with inside the frame. And so they're going to go along the side here, on each side, and this is where the cross slats will be. I use some clamps to hold this 2x2 two two onto the side rail. I just used a couple of slats to get it um, to the right level, and then I'll screw this 2x2 two two into my side rail, and then I can start putting my slats on. I'm using 3 inch screws here and as you can see if I put the screw straight in the end will almost poke out. I definitely do not want any sharp ends so I'm going to put these in at a little bit of an angle. Um, they'll bite a little better and the ends won't pop out to the side. I'm starting off by just putting three screws on these 2 by 2s one on each end and one in the middle. Now it's time for the real fun. We start to get to put the slats on. Um, I'm using two half inch 
dowels as spacers. So as I put each one, I can slide it over to my two spacers. And then I'm using um, my square occasionally just to make sure that um, we keep all the slats square to the frame. And this is kind of the tedious part because I have about 44 of these to put in. So now I'm flipping the bench up on its side and putting two and a half inch screws in from I'm going to say up in from the bottom, that way there will be no screws visible when you're looking at the, or, or sitting on the bench. At this point I have all the slats put in except for this last third or so down here. Now I didn't want to get to the end and have a weird spacing, so I just kind of roughed these in at a half inch, these last ones, to see where I'd end up and I see that I have kind of a large space in there. Not too bad, but not enough room for another board. So what I'm gonna do is just go a little bit generous, I guess, on my half inch spacing. Um, just a little bit more on each one so that I can make up that distance and maybe when I get about here or so, I'll check again and fine tune it so I just have you know, spacing that uh, you won't notice that there's any difference. I'm just giving this a bit of a hand sanding with a sanding block. Later if I want I can go ahead and get um, some half inch plugs and plug these in and sand them down a little bit. I just want to check and make sure there's no splinters or rough edges on here. Um, other than that it's, it's pretty much done. I did try to make sure that any boards that had a rough spot or a knot were um, on the bottom and that the top surface was the best. Hope you found that video helpful. You can find more of my garden and how-to information at adamcortel.com. Thanks.